Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel where we talk about stuff. Uh, this has been a major discussion over the course of the last like year or so, and I think it's getting a lot of people riled up because of the information that we continue to receive. If you've been watching this channel over the course of the last couple of months, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. The idea of a central bank digital currency is going to happen. I don't know how to break it to you. I know that a lot of people are not too thrilled about them, but they are going to be a thing. It is going to be another version of a digitized version of the fiat currencies that we currently have right now. One of the major players within the cryptocurrency space, the company Ripple, has allegedly been in discussions with a number of countries over the course of the last couple of apparently years uh, in the creation of central bank digital currencies by countries that are going to be on top of the XRP blockchain. In news that I feel like uh, should have been bigger and or maybe there's so many other things happening across the planet that people simply didn't have enough time to pay attention to what actually ended up taking place, MasterCard, like that MasterCard recently announced that they are partnering with Ripple uh, to create central bank digital currencies around the world. Right, so you, you, you see why I assumed it would have been uh, major r -r news. Uh, but to be fair, there is a lot of really weird stuff happening in the financial world and also in life. So I completely understand if there's just like too much going on for people to have actually uh, notice this news. Uh, MasterCard CEO, his name is Michael Miebach, tweeted recently, and I quote, We're partnering with several central banks to help them research new digital currency projects. It starts with understanding what they want to achieve with this technology, then building in transparency for consumers and stability, end quote. There's also a little chart somewhere down here that talks about the uh, countries that Ripple that we know about are currently working with. We were talking about this a little couple days ago as well. Um, Ripple announced to us that they were apparently working with around like five different countries uh, for them to build and create a central bank digital currency on top of the XRP blockchain. Um, however, that was also then leaked. We were told uh, from one of the higher ups in Ripple that apparently it's 30 countries that they're working with. There's a little uh, list right here. It's Colombia, Montenegro, Hong Kong, Bhutan, there's Palau. And also we heard from or about New Zealand as well who are actively uh, working now with MasterCard and with Ripple uh, for the creation of their central bank digital currencies. Uh, and I feel like I should not have to say this, but I, I will. The significance is that uh, these are going to be created and made regardless if we want them to or not. It is fascinating that they are choosing to use open and decentralized blockchains to be able to create their central bank digital currencies and even more so, that they're choosing XRP for it. For those of you who do not know, XRP is deflationary. Every time a transaction happens on the blockchain, XRP is burned in the background. If we hear or there are eventually 30 countries who are going to be using the XRP blockchain for their transactions with billions of dollars on a daily basis, Flowing through the blockchain, this means huge amounts of XRP that will be burned in the background. The less XRP that there is, then the demand still remains high, the higher the price is going to go. This also leads us to the, once again, the Brad Garlinghouse discussion, where he said he believes that very soon, eventually, not too far in the future, that XRP is going to become the number one coin and have a five-digit price tag. There's a lot going on in the cryptocurrency space. There's a lot of news about partnerships, about uh, joint ventures, and a lot of money, almost said moolah, a lot of money that's moving around the space. And I sometimes feel that a lot of people who are not only outside, but also inside the cryptocurrency space are not paying attention to the actual news that we're getting. A lot of the news that we are receiving as the public is no longer uh, speculative in that, once again, I wonder who's going to be using this. I wonder who could use it. Will anyone actually use it? When we get explicit news that Visa and MasterCard are deep within the cryptocurrency space, countries are beginning 
to try to make their central bank digital currencies and we know where they are going to be built. I feel like this is something that people should definitely be paying a lot more attention to. As always, uh, the articles will be in the description below for you to read them for yourself if you so choose to do so. There's also one explicitly from MasterCard where they talk about Ripple, the company, helping them to create central bank digital currencies. And I would love if more people in the cryptocurrency space actively paid attention to all this crazy stuff that keeps happening every single day. I do hope that you have all enjoyed. I do hope you all are having a great day, a great morning, a great afternoon, a great evening, wherever you are, wherever you might be. I do hope it's absolutely fantastic. Thank you all once again for watching, listening, liking, commenting, and or supporting. And I will most certainly be talking to you all soon. See you.